The video is made for entertainment purpose only, so don't take it seriously because it has nothing to do with real life and English is not my first language so forgive me for grammatical mistake and I hope for positive comments. Why and I was waiting for Jayam to come as it already late and didn't even realize when I fell asleep. After some time, I wake up hearing the door knock opening. I went there and see Jayam exhausted. Wan, what happened? Is everything alright? Jayam, it was until I come home. I look down in sadness. Did you eat anything? I didn't. I don't want to eat. I'm going to sleep. Don't disturb me. But it's wrong not to eat anything. Don't care about me. All right, pissed off. Okay, then good night. Then he left. I also went to kitchen to eat my food because I don't want to waste it. I saw the left food which is for him. I signed and put it in refrigerator. Now I was laying on my bed thinking about Tim. What if he is hungry? What if he was still working on his laptop? Cause he looks so stressed because of work. I grabbed my hair in frustration. Then I get up and went to peek inside his room. Why do you like to get scolded? Go over, just write the story. Sign. Okay. I slowly opened the door knob and saw him working on his laptop with full focus. Then I closed the door without him noticing. Even if you don't want to eat dinner, but I can still make some hot green tea for him as you don't like coffee and simple tea. After all, I am his perfect wife, proud smile, then I left from there tiptoeing. After making green tea, I take it and went to his room. Tiam POV While doing work, I start getting trusty. I look at the near table, but the jar was not there. I get up to van to kitchen. Then someone opened the door. I look, it was Vine. What is she doing here? Why she didn't sleep till now? Vine, mm, here, drink this. You are working hard. Grand POV. When I said that, he started looking at me with furrow eyes. I know what is going to happen, so I say, Wine, you didn't eat anything, so I decide to check on you, and you are working hard without eating. Drinking, so I decide to make something for you to drink. I said in one beat, to him, blinking eyes. Huh? I hand tea in his hand and say, sleep early, then I run away from there in embarrassment. What a weirdo, but I think she is not bad, like I think all girl are before Vyan come. She is caring. Vyan, Tim, stop, stop, please. Tim, suddenly stop car, what? Go voice, Vyan, there, I want to eat ice cream. Can I go outside to take that? Wait for me till I come back. Tim, are you a child or what? Vine, puppy eyes. Please? Tim, okay, okay, go and come fast. Vine, alright, boss. Smile, then she left. I also come out from the car to wait for her. After some time, she come outside from ice cream shop from other side of the road and start waving at me. I don't know when I start waving back at her. She was looking so happy. She start to come back, but suddenly a truck start going toward Vine. Before I can do anything, the truck hit her. Dayam wake up. I wake up while panting heavily. I was covered in sweat and tears were forming in my eye. I lick my dry lips and get up but i lost my balance and the photo frame of me and vine fall fear take over me i quickly went to check on her i look inside she was sleeping peacefully i sighed and went to sit beside her till uh, i'm so sorry vine i want 
be to you anymore. I was being like this because I think all girls just want money. But you are different. I realize it. I love you so much. I will take care of you most from now onwards. Then I sleep beside her. Next day. Y and POV. I wake up but I feel like someone hand surrounded my breast. I turned round and saw Taeyong. My breath hissed. What the hell is he doing here? But he is looking so cute. I want this moment to stop. I don't even get to know when I start smiling in my thoughts. Suddenly I feel Taeyong moving. I quickly close my eyes but I can feel him waking up. Then I feel lips on my forehead. I slowly open my eyes and see him. Then he moved back with a smile. Tim, you wake up, smile. That smile, he smiled at me. Yes, yes. Tim, but what happened? Are you sick? You are looking red, touching my head. Why? No, nothing happened. Okay, get up. I'll make breakfast for you. Saying this, he left from the room. I take breath which I have been holding for a long time. Am I dreaming? Saying this, I slap my face hardly. Ah, it hurt. This means I'm not dreaming. I get up in joy and start jumping. Thank you, God. Then I went to do my morning routine with happy face. I was about to step on stairs. Suddenly someone shout from downstairs. I stop and look down and saw Taeyong. Where there? Don't come down on your own. One, huh? Confused. Then he come up and stand in front of me while I was still looking at him in confused. I got shocked when he suddenly lift me up in his arms and take me downstairs. I was just looking at him thinking how come a man can change in just one night? Is it because of that green tea? What am I thinking? How is it even possible? Tim, we are here. Saying this, he put me down. He was cooking breakfast while I was staring at him. Tim, what happened? Why, nothing. Look away. By the way, are you not going office? Tim, I take a week leave to spend time with you. I secretly smile at his words. I start scrolling on my phone, trying to distract myself. Suddenly, I smile. Something burning. I look up and saw him rushing here and there. I sang because I forget that he don't know how to cook perfectly yet. Days went like this one day. Tayum POV. I was going with Vine on a long drive. Today I decided to propose her. Vine. Ty, I want to eat ice cream. When she said that ice cream, I suddenly stopped the car. Break because I think of. My dreams start coming in front of my eyes. I look out from the window. It was the same place as my dream. One. What happened? Tim, no, nothing. Smile. Wait here. I will buy for you. I take a deep breath. Then I thought, what if Wine still get hurt in car? A girl. Wine, what happened? Why are you not going? Tim, Wine, can you please stand out from car? Wine, for her eyes. Okay. Then she come out and I went to take ice cream. Van POV, what's wrong with him? He was not like this before. He start getting too much possessive toward me. He don't let me cook nor even cut vegetable. Walk on stairs. Today I will ask him what happened to him. At first I ignore his behavior but now he take care of me like a little child. After some time he come back. Tim, Van, let's go. Van, okay. Why and I leave my eyes already? I might fall. Tim, you want as long as I'm here. Now one, two, three. Surprise! Why and shock? Uh, is this for me? Big smile. When I turned round, Tim was on his knees. Tim, why and will you be my love for the rest of my life? Why? No, that multiple time. Then he stand up and about to hug me. But I stop him and say, Vyan, first tell me one thing. Tim, what is it? Confused. Vyan, what with the sudden change in your behavior? Tim, that because of a dream. Vyan, a dream? Tim, bite his lips. I saw you, you dying in that. Vyan, so that's the real reason of your over possessiveness. Laugh. Tim, why are you laughing? Vyan, I didn't know that a dream can change eyes into water. 
Still, I was being cold because I used to think that all girls only want money, but you not like them. Why you think of me like that? Now I'm sad. Jung, no, no, it's not like that. I smile and pack at his lips. Jung, hey, I was not ready. Suddenly he pulled me by my wrist and start kissing me deeply. The kiss was long. We move back when we get out of breath. Jung, smug. Let's take our room for tonight. Why, huh? Then I realized what he was talking about. I start blushing.